Well, I'm a big fan of uh, MMA, always have been, plus I have some friends that are in it. Uh, Justin McCauley's one of my best friends, he was in Kendall Groves' corner tonight, so that was my connection. Kendall's a friend of mine, I came to watch, came to watch the main event. Now, who are some of your favorite fighters? Um, well... Same as, same as a lot of, uh, I like a lot of the fan favorites for the same reasons a lot of people are going to say. Anderson Silva, George St. Pierre, and John Jones. Those three guys are, are very uh, entertaining. They seem like they're on a whole other level above everybody else. Uh, I'm of the age where I was competing with kickboxing when there was no MMA. People that wasn't around yet. Some of these kids now that are coming up with MMA their whole life, they're so advanced. It's like a, uh, it's like a, a hybrid sport of, uh, you know, of MMA as we understand it, plus other stuff we don't even understand. I mean, who'd ever think of like running up and jumping off the cage and doing a flying inside crescent kick? I mean, that's movie stuff. Guys are pulling it off nowadays because that's how far this is advancing. It's really entertaining. And what are your thoughts on Nick Diaz? I know you guys share a common love for the 420. We got love sure. for that over at MiddleEasy.com. Yeah. What's your thoughts on Nick? Well, obviously Nick's a great fighter. Him and his brother both, you know, they're uh, and they're fun to watch because they get because they're such assholes when they fight, you know. Um, I love that Nick is so forward and upfront about his cannabis use. And uh, an article that I read years ago uh, when he made the spotlight with that was one of the first times that I saw cannabis getting credit for being an enhancer. Enhancement. That was what that was what the problem was with him fighting under the influence. They said it was an enhancement. Total, totally blows your mind away from uh, the, the usual argument, you know, because they think it's a detriment. They think that it's unhealthy for you. So to say it's cheating because it gives you an unfair advantage really, really takes a different look at it. And as I'm sure Nick Diaz would tell you, there are advantages to it, and I'm sure that's why he does it, just like a lot of athletes do. So I, I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad to have uh, Nick, like myself, being uh, upfront and honest about it. Hopefully, the whole world can learn about it instead of uh, just always going with the stereotypes, the stigmas, and it's something that's going to turn you into a, a loser. There's a lot of facts people would never know. Actually, I speaking of. Yeah. Facts. It's never killed anybody. How can it be one of the most dangerous drugs we have? That's uh, besides the fact, you know, that uh, it's outlawed right now because the federal government says it's non-medicinal. Nobody believes that. Do you believe it's non-medicinal? My wife, my wife used it to help treat uh, her chemotherapy, uh, go through the chemotherapy treatments after she had cancer. A lot of people uh, have experienced that. We've got 16 states that say it's medicinal, and they've adopted medicinal programs for the states, plus the Washington, D.C., but we still have the federal government that overrides the whole country that swears, that swears that marijuana is the most dangerous drug you can ever find, completely non-medicinal, and we need to do something. That's why they arrest people, that's why they steal their property, that's why they kill people, so that's where yeah, we need to make a change, and that's how it's going to happen. People that are part of culture, like Nick he is up there, leading an example. Kids can't look at him and say, uh, cannabis is going to make me into a couch potato. No, not necessarily. One last thing before I let you go. Is there anything you want to tell our MiddleEasy.com readers? Um, I, I have a ton of projects coming up. You know, uh, a documentary movie about the Medical Cush uh, Beach Club down at Venice Beach. Tommy Chong and myself are executive producers. Uh, you'll be hearing about that real soon. I'm about to uh, push that. Plus an action movie, The Equalizers, that'll uh, be making the news real soon. So, RobVanDam.com is a place to go to keep up with uh, all the latest.